Hey guys, Rick back from Maple Syrup Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the Gamax, uh, Deepcool Gamax 300, another CPU cooler in the budget range. It's a classic style tower cooler. We're up to a three heat pipe design on this one. Uh, so actually let's start with a quick overview of the uh, qualities of this cooler. So as I just mentioned, it's a three uh, heat pipe, a three copper heat pipe design, directly contacting the CPU on a aluminum and copper uh, cold plate. Uh, the CPU cooler itself is compatible with all the modern sockets, all the way up up, up to AM4 out of the box. Uh, and but by, by the way, if you want to see a quick installation guide, I'll put it down in the description down below because I have a uh, explanation guide for the whole Gamax series. It offers a uh, cooling performance. They rated up to 130 watts. Um, it's once again, it's a 120 millimeter fan on this one that spins up to 1600 RPM and it is PWM uh, compatible. So you will be able to control it uh, automatically when plugging it into your motherboard. Uh, and finally, for the dimensions, we're looking at a um, design that is 121 millimeters wide by 75.5 millimeters deep and 135.7 millimeters high. So overall, um, if you've seen my uh, latest reviews, as we've come to expect from uh, Deep Cool in this design line, the design is almost identical actually to the Gamax 200, uh, only that the aluminum uh, heatsink is a little beefier on this one. You actually feel the weight when you, you, you pick it up compared to a 200. Um, also, you know, contributing to that is the fact that we're up to a three heat pipe design. But as usual, the build quality on these coolers, even though they're selling them for under $20, by the way, this one is sold here in Canada for $19.99, and you can find it on sale sometimes for $15. Uh, but yeah, the build quality is really excellent. You have a really flat surface on the cold plate. Uh, no, like, no grooves really in between the copper heat pipes and the aluminum parts of the plate. So it's all things I like to see. And the fan design is actually a really interesting one. I really like the blue, f blue round fan design. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a uh, cleaner aspect. And even though it's a budget cooler, because of the overall look, you maybe get the impression that it's, you know, a little bit higher grade than they're actually selling it at. Um, so Without further ado, let's get to the performance numbers. Before that, just a quick overview of the methodology I use. So uh, basically, I'm using for all the testing a Ryzen 3 1200 processor that is overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz with 1.3 volts uh, steady uh, voltage on the motherboard. And uh, basically, I'm using uh, the fan profile. I'm basically uh, putting the fan at 100% all throughout the tests so that all the coolers perform maximum sound wise and cooling performance. Um, and lastly, for noise tests, well, I use my good old uh, portable noise tester, which I place about six inches away from the cooler itself, uh, which approximates someone who would have like a tower beside them and gaming so the, the noise should be about approximate what you would get in a real life scenario with someone putting their tower on a computer desk next to where they game so uh, let's start by looking at the numbers real quick so we're going to start with temperature as usual so uh, temperatures by the way are in delta temperatures meaning the difference between the ambient temperature and the temperature uh, i was getting off of the cpu so the deep cool was performing at 29 degrees above uh, ambient temperature, which is a really good performance and puts it neck to neck with the Hyper T2, which was the previous top performer on my budget series list. And uh, basically it outclasses its little brother, which is the 200T by a, by a couple of degrees. Uh, without a surprise, the fan on uh, this one, you know, is the exact same fan as on the 200. So it was to be expected. The three heat pipe design is where we get a couple of extra degrees from. Now, if we look at sound profiles, well, we're getting uh, on this one 46 decibels, which is one decibel off the 200T. It's the identical same fan, so it's probably just manufacturing differences or maybe you know, simply uh, test variants. So the one decibel, you can really see it's the exact same fan as the Deep Cool 200T. Um, 
so overall sound performance it's a very good performer slightly louder than the AMD stock coolers but still among the quietest and significantly quieter than the Hyper T2 um, so basically overall out of the so far out of the whole series uh, this is the overall best performer um, so you know this is really a cooler that if you're gonna put 20 bucks on you're not gonna go wrong with this and honestly if you have the choice between this or the hyper t2 I would go personally with this every time just because you're getting the same performance out of it uh, the tower is actually slightly um, slightly lower than the hyper t2 so it'll actually fit in more builds than the hyper t2 would and on top of that you've got a quieter fan design so unless you really don't like the visuals or the design out of the cooler um, overall I would say this is a you know best performer in the under 20 category we're gonna do a synthesis of this in another video where we're gonna go back over all the coolers but uh, you can't go wrong the only issue I have with this is that it's basically 25% more expensive than its little brother the Gamax 200T and it only performs like a couple of degrees cooler meaning like you know somewhere about 6% better than the Gamax 200 so you're actually paying 25% more for 6% more performance and those two degrees are actually not going to make a huge difference in overclocking there is one tiny thing though that the numbers do not tell in total which is that the temperatures were more stable on this because basically I'm using average temperatures over about a five minute period um, and the, the 200T the spikes would be more frequent and would take a little bit longer to get back down to a, a lower temperature while on the 300 on the with the Gamax 300 there were very few spikes and when there were they would come the temperature would come back down very quickly so um, this is actually the first cooler that I would say I would try with the Ryzen 7s or a maybe an i7 but I wouldn't push an i7 7700 all the way I wouldn't try hitting 5 gigahertz on this kind of cooler I would go with something even beefier which we're probably going to see in the next few weeks but for Ryzen 7 this is the first cooler I say you could try and you could probably hit your max overclock on this cooler so you know the two degrees isn't you know a lot but the stability it offered actually impressed me a lot so I'm a little torn between this and the Gamax 200 um, you know if you're under if you're if you're under a Ryzen 5 1600 I would say save the five bucks go with the Gamax 200 but if you're somewhere around over a Ryzen 5 1600 go with the Gamax 300 because the extra stability and uh, it will really be appreciated in the long run with those higher core CPUs where the spikes are maybe going to be a little more aggressive and it's going to maybe take the coolers a little more time to bring them down so overall very good buy uh, you know very happy performance we did a lot of deep cool coolers because honestly under $20 they pretty dominate the market right now so if you've looked at the reviews over the last few days and when we're going to do the synthesis there's a lot of deep cool just because the other manufacturers are mostly situated between 20 and 30 they have a lot of market place under 20 and it's really decent products so I'm really impressed so far so as usual um, you know it's new to the channel uh, but uh, we I have a patreon account set up now for the channel so if anyone wants to contribute on a regular basis help the channel grow help me get more um, more parts more product uh, everything donated to the patreon will pretty much be injected directly back into the channel uh, we're aiming for a build right now if you visit the patreon page which will be in the link down below so you can see uh, what we're gonna be aiming for um, as well uh, my Amazon affiliate links will be down below so if you do want to pick up the Gamex 300 uh, why don't you use my affiliate links it'll give me a small kickback help the channel grow as well and you get your cooler and doesn't cost you anything extra so uh, and lastly any questions any comments leave them down below in the section I'll try to answer everyone uh, and try to find answers for all your questions if I really do not know the answer I will uh, try at least to answer you that unfortunately you know I can't I can't figure it out your <laughs> the answer to your question uh, and uh, I hope I'll see you guys in my next video